Hey guys, what is up? It is TrueKiller360 here, and uh, today I have a uh, kind of a rant video. I guess you call it another Clueless rant video. I got a lot of good feedback with my other uh, Clueless rant video, because people really like that one. Because, um, uh, I don't know. Just because they did, I guess. But... Uh, there's a couple of different things I wanted to talk about. The biggest thing I definitely want to talk about was the PS4 sales just hit 7 million worldwide. That is crazy. That is such a huge number. And it's uh, unbelievable. In the little time the PS4 has been out, 7 million sales already. That is ridiculous. And uh, uh, Xbox One is actually uh, starting to catch up with Sony in the uh, console sales race. Um, since they've uh, cut the price down on their Xbox and uh, the Titanfall bundle helped them out a lot with uh, sales because you could just buy an Xbox for the same price and get Titanfall with it and uh, people really 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 enjoyed that rather than uh, having like to go out and buy the game that'd be another $60 you have to tack on to uh, I don't know the 500 you had to pay before um, now you just pay 500 or play 450 for uh, the Xbox itself and uh, Titanfall so uh, you put that other uh, uh, it's only $50 but if you get another $10 I'm pretty sure it's $60 to get Xbox sold I'm not 100% sure but uh, if you uh, you can actually put that money towards your Xbox uh, live account and uh, you'll be able to play online and uh, that'll help out you guys a lot so uh, that's good if you're on Xbox, however, uh, if you're on uh, Sony, eh, not really good for you. I mean, you're not going to get hurt or anything from it, but uh, Xbox is catching up with sales, which you know, it sucks in a way, because I know I'm a PlayStation fanboy, and uh, I just want to see uh, PlayStation just destroy Xbox and everything. Um, however, the Xbox, I mean, it is a good system. I don't care for the Xbox One, though, because uh, they're basically treating it more as like a uh, DVR like a cable box rather than a system to keep adding all these apps and whatnot onto it it feels like they're focusing more on the uh, external like third-party stuff rather than the uh, games themselves and uh, you know, that's not really good for any company or any any system at all because uh, you know that can really come back and hurt you and uh, yeah but uh, in the background of this video um, I had a very very good match um, these guys kind of I don't know in the beginning um, they're kind of trash talking and whatnot but uh, you know I finally pick up my game I uh, start using some real guns you see me uh, take this guy's war war machine as Sharon says um, but uh, you know today was a pretty good day I mean I uh, played plenty of matches and it's either I got like all my streaks like five times in one match or I only had like a point three KD, which uh, which sucks. But uh, you know the good matches definitely outrank the bad matches. So uh, you know it was a good day. So I uh, see me pick off that double kill. Um, War Machine is just such a fun score streak to use, and uh, you guys can never use it. Just go ahead. It's it's so much fun. And this this actually this court score streak combination is so good. I actually. Uh, some matches I just overlap these over and over and over just just because how they work the uh, you can actually put the stealth chopper and the escort drone both up at the same time which uh, kind of maxes your uh, points you get I guess um, in the escort drone I've never really used the escort drone before but uh, that is one amazing score streak I was using it earlier and I just I got like a fury kill just because of the uh, escort drone flying around above me so uh, that's pretty crazy like just like that it just got that many kills and uh, I believe I get one in this game um, this might even be the match where it actually does that um, it gets the huge kill feed but uh, you see here I'm using the uh, MSMC because uh, you know that's just a really easy gun to uh, try with but uh, I switched classes quite a bit and I uh, think I stick with the hammer the rest of the game truthfully I might I I have no idea but uh yeah but PAX East was actually uh, um, last weekend I believe I'm pretty sure it was last weekend and uh, there's a lot of announcements there so I'll probably do a video of some of the announcements 
one of the uh, bigger announcements is uh, for you Borderlands fans out there, they're uh, coming out with Borderlands the pre-sequel. So uh, that'll be for you guys, new Borderlands game. That's not the Telltale game. And, uh, you know, that's pretty exciting. They've uh, released a little bit of trailer for it. They released the, uh, like, pre-alpha trailer. And uh, the game still looks good. And that's pre-alpha. And uh, it's not even beta or anything, so... Like I said, the game looks pretty good. And uh, by the looks on it, it looks like um, you're actually on Hyperion. And uh, so you're in space, which you'll be affected by the gravity that space has. And you have to wear like an oxygen mask. So you have to keep up on your oxygen. And uh, you know, that seems like a lot of fun. And you get a jetpack. So uh, this seems pretty sweet. And uh, I'll probably do a video about that. I may even uh, post a trailer and kind of break it down a little bit so uh, yeah, look forward to that um, I know uh, I have a couple friends like Dark Elf who uh, are really 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 into the Borderlands series he's uh, probably beat the campaign probably 20 times um, I mean the campaign for Borderlands 2 is so good but uh, the reason I don't play it anymore is because it's the same campaign every time and uh, you know I'm not really into uh, repeating stuff over and over and over again. Um, even if it's different classes that you use, like a Siren or a Gunzerker, um, stuff like that. But uh, the biggest thing about this Borderlands, the pre sequel that I heard of, that I love, is uh, you can play as Claptrap, which is awesome. Um, I'd love to be Claptrap, just driving around there, just killing the crap out of people. Um, it sounds like a lot of fun, and uh, I'm, pr I'm sure, pretty sure it's not like the same Claptrap, because there's a lot of Claptrap bots, but uh, this one will be one, I believe this may even be going on um, as Borderlands 2 was going on, it might even be before it, it's called the pre-sequel, so, uh, but <clears throat> there's new characters. Um, but, you know, I'll post a video about that. I don't want to get too into it in this uh, little rant video here because I can't really show or <clears throat> express any of the uh, true details because, uh, I don't know, all I've seen was the trailer and uh, I haven't really researched it in any at all. So, uh, <clears throat> so yeah, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and talk about Call of Duty and uh, what Sledgehammer, bring Sledgehammer is bringing in because, uh, as you all know, Sledgehammer is now on the uh, cycle for putting out Call of Duty, so it's every three years that uh, they'll be putting out a game. So I believe that Sledgehammer will actually put out Modern Warfare 4, uh, probably this year, actually. But uh, what happened was Modern Warfare 3, Sledgehammer actually came in and they ended up finishing that game. So uh, they own quite a bit of right to the Modern Warfare name since they finished the third one. So there could be a possibility that this could be uh, Modern Warfare 4 or uh, they could take some kind of different spin you could never know um, I'm kind of excited for Sledgehammer games um, a lot of people <clears throat> I don't know they're uh, curious about them because uh, I know I have a couple friends that uh, hate Modern Warfare 3 they just hate it to death um, even if they are super good at it like Sharon <laughs> uh, not to name uh, any names or anything but Sharon um, with the two point key, like he has like a 2.20 KD in that game, and he doesn't like it. Um, it's a really, really good game, and my dog won't shut up. I'm sorry about that, guys. But uh, I am super excited for Sledgehammer to. Uh, I know they're the main company that's actually working on it. Well, while uh, Infinity Ward was there helping them, I guess. Um, they did a lot with that game. So. Uh, I know a lot of people that won't buy Infinity Ward games anymore, strictly because of the Modern Warfare 3. I mean, personally, I believe Modern Warfare 3 was a great game. It really was. However, the spawns were just ridiculous, and you can never keep a good host, which uh, is awful. Um, you gotta have good connection to be able to play online, especially Call of Duty, because, you know, it's just quick reactions when you play. Um, but, uh, See in the background, we're actually uh, making a comeback right here at the final minute of the match, which is uh, pretty awesome. We were kind of freaking out here, um, but uh, me and my friend Manny's men, 
Um, everybody else actually left, which sucked, because we still ended up with the win. And, you know, these guys kind of made me mad in the beginning. That's why I pulled out the MSMC, because I'm just so good with this gun. This gun's just so easy to use. And, uh, you know, I can just go crazy with it and just drop a lot of kills with it, like right here. I am uh, already at 50, and as you see us take the lead, where uh, I was I was super excited because uh, I knew we were going to win it. We just had coming down to the final seconds here, and it didn't matter if they captured a flag. We still had the win. So, uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this clueless rant video. I'm sorry if you can hear my dogs still barking in the background. They don't know when to shut up. Um, but uh, comment, like, subscribe, and share, guys, as usual. Have a fantastic day. Peace out. I will uh, see you guys next time. Shut up! Never a doubt. Good job.